Wouldn't it be cool if on the days that we're having one of those ADHD spin outs, if we could just like unplug our ADHD and plug it back out, see if maybe that helps reset it. The key for finding strategies to help you feel better while you're having those ADHD spin outs is finding a way to reset yourself without creating something that becomes like a new distraction or even worse, something that becomes an addiction. Those of us with ADHD, we crave feeling calm because we just hardly ever feel that way. Now, most of the time, the ADHD brain just loves short shortcuts because we've got so many different things going on and we're so tired. But what we end up doing is we find the most efficient means of feeling better, although it may not be the most effective. And in many cases, some of those efficient means that we come up with actually are things that we just recycle and do over and over and over again to the point that they become distractions, habits, or even worse addictions to just try to help our ADHD brains feel regulated. So what are some of the things that we can do? A very common strategy that people with ADHD often deploy is listening to music or watching TV. I mean, how many of you constantly have the TV on in the background? It's the kind of thing that helps bring a little bit of dopamine because we have some background noise that our body is processing, but it is also helping us in a weird way be more clear and focused on what is directly in front of us in order to make our brains come back to what I would consider an equilibrium, something that makes us feel regulated, something that just makes you feel good. There are a number of things. Music is one. Video Video games, reading, TV, exercise is huge. Those kind of things, they can be short term, but sometimes if they feel good enough that we actually focus on that. So instead of using that activity to raise dopamine to get our bodies back to a sense of equilibrium or calmness, we're actually focusing on that activity to get the dopamine. When our bodies need dopamine, we're like, oh, okay, I'm gonna play video games for seven hours. Really, it only takes about 15 minutes for that activity where our eyes and our hands are connecting by a monitor or something but i don't know about you guys but i mean there was one christmas where i think we started playing mike tyson's punch out thursday and by tuesday we're like what day is it that can happen one of the things that i have found that really helps reset is to actually just do something really nice for a complete stranger that can do nothing for you in return and you're like wait what Secret Santa stuff? Well, actually, yeah. I don't know why this is. I would love to hear your comments and, you know, explanations. All I know is that it just works. I've been kind of unregulated for a couple of weeks. You know, I just, I hate winter. I just, I hate it. I'm usually kind of bumming a little bit and I'm trying to feel a little bit better. I live in an area where, you know, it's cold and snowy. Four hour drive and get to an area that has some sunshine and is a little more warm and doesn't have any snow. I had to get out of myself. I had to go down. I was trying to feel better. The intent was to go spend all day outside just exercising and breathing clean air, just looking at nature. That resets me all the time, but it wasn't quite doing it for me. I was at a gas station in just this random middle of freaking nowhere town in Arizona. You know how the people that play the violin in the parking lot to, you know, get paid? This guy was phenomenal. We don't speak the same language, but he was playing the violin to the point that I was sitting in the car and I start crying and I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, so here, this is something I can do. Technically, he was doing something for me. He was inspiring me by just being this guy that is out there hustling, trying to do his best, wasn't able to this point find a way to make a living playing his violin. Well, I went over there and I gave the dude some money. I never do that, ever. I gave him a lot. That really helped reset me. It helped me get outside myself. It helped me show appreciation to somebody else who was doing something really amazing that was actually benefiting me. Well, I gave him that stuff back. He can't return the favor anymore. He kind of did it in advance. The thing that I do more often than not is I'll just compliment somebody's t-shirts. I freaking love t-shirts. You guys have probably known, figured this out by now. Just say something nice. Like you don't have to give anybody money. Sometimes just saying something nice is all that you need to do to help you reset. The key in this situation though, is once we do something nice and we recognize that it has made us feel better, we need to turn around and then start doing those things for ourselves. Because if we make a habit of doing things for other people, it does get pretty easy to neglect yourself because there is a dopamine hit to be had from doing something nice for somebody else. At the end of the day, we need to actually provide that kind of help, that kind of service, that kind of care and compassion for ourselves. Because guess what? Nobody else is going to do it. There might be the occasional kindness of a stranger or a nice smile or something like that. But when it comes to the day to day, the things that we need to do to help ourselves reset is something that has to come from ourselves.